Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement Private Limited. And in this video, we will learn that how to convert a non-tabular data into a tabular format. And uh, I got this small project via freelancing website. And uh, I will guide you that uh, how to pursue and get the projects from the freelancing websites. What are those websites and uh, how to generate your freelancing skill set as well. So if you are a professional or a student who knows how to use Microsoft Excel with the latest features, so you, you know already that uh, we have now uh, some very good tools available in Excel latest version. So primarily, uh, whenever we got this kind of a data, which I got from one of the client and he has he has a data in a non tabular format, like uh, he has some IDs in one column. Uh, so there are 10 IDs and uh, there are five subjects biology chemistry physics maths and science so uh, he he has recorded uh, some of the scores or points you can say of different students based on their IDs and what he was required because a lot of features uh, we can play around when we have a tabular data uh, with respect to a kind of semi report or a non tabular data so he wanted to convert that this entire data set into this one which is you can see in the column H I N J right now first I will tell you the formula approach that how I have applied the formulas in order to convert this non tabular into tabular and uh, comparing to this effort we will also explore the power query which is the ETL tool available in Microsoft Excel and also in the power BI so without applying any single formula you can convert this kind of data set into a tabular format so that you can later on you can uh, execute that data into a pivot tables or you can mold according to your requirements so uh, for, for the formula approach uh, what was required is if you can see that every id or every student has given five subjects exams and they have recorded some scores or points based on that so, so the first requirement was that that each of the id will repeat five times because we have five subjects okay so we have five subjects and each of the ID will be repeating five times. So as you can see, 123 is re being repeating five times and then 124 and then 142, right? So uh, these 10 IDs in the column A, uh, now you can multiply that. So if each ID will repeat five times because of five subjects, so there are 10 IDs. So this means that in, in tabular data, you have 50 rows of data, right? and also uh, the names of the subjects that is biology chemistry physics math and science and then again all these names of the subjects will definitely come under each of the id as well and then the last but not the least we need to fetch the numbers according to that particular id and the subject as well so for repeating that particular id every five times in the column h so i have uh, applied three functions into it and if you are an intermediate to advanced level user now so you can understand it very better and after the video you can uh, play around this uh, logic apply apply in your spreadsheet as well so I have applied uh, I have nested three functions into one formula that is index integer and the raw and as you can see that this specific number five you can change this number as well once you pick the logic so it's it's up to you and and I uh, want you to learn by yourself as well uh, so if you change this number instead of five if, if you do it eight so every ID will repeat eight times okay and after applying this logic now you can see that uh, each of the ID is repeating five times so it's depend if there are six subjects you will write six instead of five in that particular formula Right, so I am not explaining from the very basic, but I am giving you an uh, idea that uh, this is uh, the formula you were required to repeat uh, certain number or text into that this kind of query, and you can imagine that how much effort is required to put or build this kind of formula. Either if you are very advanced level user, uh, I know that you can build this kind of formula within five minutes or ten minutes or if you are less than an intermediate user of Excel or if you l have less knowledge of these functions so might be you will go to some websites or blogs and then you copy some kind of 
similar idea from that and you then paste on your spreadsheet so it will take more than 30 minutes right so the efforts now you can compare the efforts uh, if we don't use the modern tools just like power query power pivot in excel and we just go for the formal approach so you can now compare your efforts versus return mindset in in as an excel user okay and for the uh, subjects we we uh, we were required to get these five subjects names every time with the different id so what i did is i have applied the transpose function which is available so this is the transpose function and uh, remember that this is an array function and once is it has been applied uh, by selecting a range from b1 to f1 as you can see here now for the next time uh, i have applied a small formula that is relative reference and that relative reference definitely will repeat uh, every subject after once it has been done with with each of the id so again this logic needs to be understand uh, okay and that's simple now the actual part of that query was once you have repeated all the ids numbers five times and the subject names you got correctly so you are required to definitely fetch the numbers according to that output or id and subject so i have applied here uh that, that this this is the formula which consists of one index and two matches and uh, if you are if you have already used vlookup so now you can compare that uh, might be uh, if you are thinking that VLOOKUP will be more suitable here and can be uh, give you an answer so you can go with the VLOOKUPs or you can get the significant importance of applying index and match here right and if you are more advanced user you can un uh, analyze now XLOOKUP as well if the situation best fit for that so I have applied index and match here and what index and match is doing here uh, it's basically the match function is uh, getting the relative position from a raw based on the ids and a relative position from a column based on the subject and then index is definitely giving you an output from that exactly located cell according to matching of the id and a subject okay so this is again uh, not a very uh, hard or difficult uh, formula to understand if you are if you are an advanced level user you will uh, understand it easily this is a simple in index with two matches functions okay and we got that all the numbers so now from this non tabular data into a tabular format converting that tabular format the client was very happy to have that kind of solution but remember that you are required to generate three to four different functions or formulas uh, and you are doing a lot of efforts uh, in, in creating a solution so uh, now I will let you to uh, demonstrate one more solution without applying any formula and that will be definitely automated so once your data will get appends for example if there will be more IDs and subject marks later on will be added into this data set so one thing which is required here is is to copy and paste formulas at, at the bottom wh whenever your data gets append but in the power query which is the ETL tool available in in excel now uh, there is no such requirement once you're you got the data what you can do is now let's get into the demonstration part you will go to the data tab and uh, now first thing you need to check is that your this data should be in a table format so what i will do is i will go to insert tab and i will click on table and i will click ok so now my this data has been converted into table format and now this table format will be uh, push into the power query uh, by clicking on from table or range so you will go to data tab and click on from table or range so it will let you to access the power query editor window in next few seconds all right so once uh, you are in the power query editor you can have your preview of your data so now we have the id numbers and the subjects as well and we will use one awesome feature available in power query that is unpivot columns so what we will do is we will select the first subject which is the biology and uh, i will hold the shift key and i will click on the last subject which is science reasoning and then uh, after selecting all these five columns of five different subjects i will go to transform tab and i will click on unpivot columns so as soon as i click on unpivot columns this is the magic here so you got 
within one second you got your uh, non-tabular data into a tabular format and now you have the ID numbers uh, if you want to change the header of this particular column double click on that and give the name suitable name to it so we will give them subjects and last column as scores or points or marks okay and once you are done with all the uh, transformation in this power query editor now you are required to move this data into uh, an excel spreadsheet as a separate sheet so we will go to the home tab and i will click on close and load so as you can compare now that uh, as if we go with the formula approach we are required to create three to four nested complex formulas if if we are an advanced level user but if if you use the latest features uh, just like power query in microsoft excel uh, without clicking or applying any formula or uh, giving a time of one hour or two hours at our workplace on these kind of queries within seconds we got our required data set as we were want as we wanted so now you got your uh, data into a tabular format uh, as you can uh, see here and later on if uh, for example let me add one more row in, in into this table as well so that you can understand more uh, if i add 250 as an id and going with the same marks so now this was the output which was generated by power query without any formula and within few seconds right so now you can see that we have an id that is 202 and uh, in the data set we we added one more id so in that case uh, we are not required to apply all these power query steps again uh, we are just required to click on data tab and click on refresh button and when you click boom so the new id has been added and transformed automatically so this is the power of power query etl tool extract transform and load so i suggest that uh, either you can go for the formula strategy if you want to uh, it's, it's depend on how you want to develop your solution so if you are going with formula approach you have to invest some time more time in it but if you have the latest version of excel and uh, i suggest you to learn power query so that it can uh, less consume your time and you can focus on more responsibilities at your workplace as well and the freelancing uh, websites as well so you can go and and uh, make your profiles and get these kind of projects and earn a good amount as a part time of your income so these are the six websites uh, which i personally prefer to get the projects according to my skill set so if if i am good in excel if i am good in power bi I have created uh, my profiles and uh, definitely freelancing is also a skill so if you uh, entirely don't know what is freelancing and how to do it how to get the projects from the clients and what are those good techniques to do it so uh, looking to this earning uh, opportunities these six websites you need to create your profile and get the part-time income but if you want to explore freelancing from the very scratch uh, let me tell you one website which creative started by them uh, which is called dg skills and uh, dg skills dot pk is, is a website where the pakistani users can uh, sign up and join for free to learn freelancing and also there are more than seven to eight um, very good popular courses here graphic designing creative writing e-commerce management digital literacy uh, but the main focus would be for you is to get started with the freelancing first and as you can see the statistics from here uh, till now we have uh, overall enrollments of 1.5 million users so that's a biggest uh, advantage for the Pakistani users to sign up on this website this is the all these courses are free of cost available uh, with proper certificates with proper uh, learning assignments and quizzes and after you learn the freelancing skill set you can go to uh, these six websites and you can create your profile and then you can according to your technical skill set uh, you can get these kind of projects and earn a good amount of dollars